as the crowd continues to file in. We get set to bring you another exciting game. And we have two teams who are fighting for the divisional title. Yep, these Titans and Jaguars both have great teams, and they always seem to play for pretty high stakes. They're lined up for the kickoff, so let's get this game started. Crosby is just about ready to kick this one away. Harmon back deep to the two. This one is taken by Harmon. Should be a beauty with two of the most talented defensive units in the league. We all know the defense wins championship. And we'll be watching two of the best the that the NFL has to offer in this one. Since both of these teams First really get ten. after the quarterback and create a lot of pressure, don't be surprised if we see a lot of takeaway. Hand it off. Harris is there on the stop at the 19. You know, Johnny always seems to be in perfect position to make a play. He's all about effort. His motor's always running at 100%. And he's got the experience to diagnose plays very quickly. Second, Ball on their own 19. Ball on the 19-yard line. You gotta it. The Titans line up in a 4-3. Going to the left. Dilma gets right in there and brings him down. And he chases him down behind the line of scrimmage for a loss. I'll tell you, he's one of the most knowledgeable defenders in the league. He knows how to play the game, and he always knows what's going on. Ball on their own 17. Ball on the 17-yard line. They worry about it's coming. Hey, let's go. Hey, hey, Pressure coming. Hey. Stepping up. Gets rid of it. Complete to the wide receiver. Price makes the tackle at the 27-yard line. He had to throw that one exactly when he did. Watch it here. He feels a rush, avoids a sack, then finds a receiver. Now that is good pocket presence. Signals for the fair catch. First and ten. Ball on the 39 yard line. Jacksonville comes out in their nickel package. Pressure growing. Incomplete pass. Pretty good coverage downfield as the pass falls incomplete. He had some room up in front of him to scramble out of the pocket and pick up a few yards. Maybe he should have done that. Second to ten. Ball on the 39-yard line. Watch the man. Come on. All right, let's go. Hand it off to the back. How is there for the tackle at the 45-yard line? Vision is so important to these ball carriers. They got to find the hole and get to it before it closes. There's no hole there, and they got to know that too. If you don't have the vision, you just can't find the hole. The Jaguars come out of the nickel pack. Gets the pass off. This one falls incomplete. It was almost like the defenders were in the huddle on that series. They hit a roadblock with everything they tried. Sastadil comes into the game for the punt. Harmon into return. This one goes out of bounds. First Ball on their own 32. Ball on the 32 yard line. Here we come. Watch this. Here we go. Going to the air on first down. Throws it. 
incomplete pass. And good pressure forced him to get rid of the pass early. Any way you look at it, an incomplete pass is a heck of a lot better than throwing it to the other guy. Second and ten. Ball on the 32-yard line. Here we go. Irvin is the deep back with a counter play. Green is there for the tackle. You can't have a good running attack without blocking. But blocking alone won't get you what you need. You got to have a back who can find the holes when they're there. Ball on their own 40. Ball on the 40-yard line. The Titans come out in a 4-3. With the throw, and he drops the pass. All he could do is look at his hands and wonder what the heck happened. Number 19 sets up to run back the punt. From the 25. Number 19 doesn't have a whole lot of room to work with getting it to the 31. The Titans will start the drive at the 31-yard line. First and ten. Bring it up, bring it up. A little misdirection. You can't wrap him up. Cody is there on the stop on the at the 34. One thing on these the guys don't want to do is give up in a running game. Because if they do that, they become one-dimensional. And that plays right into the defense's hands. Ball on their own 34. Ball on the 34-yard line. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Give me Jacksonville using three linebackers. Hand it off. Sharp step on. Ingram is there for the tackle at the 39. Now they got to keep going at it. They can get that defense tired and on its heels, these games will get longer and bigger as the game goes on. Gain of a handful. Ball on their own 39. Ball on the 39 yard line. Not here. It's showtime, baby. The Jaguars with a four-man front. Rowing. Pass caught by the fullback. Shakes off the tackle. And he's pushed out of bounds at the 39-yard line. They converged for the first down on that throw. And they ran the perfect play to get those couple of yards. Ball on the 39-yard line. Ball on the 39-yard line. The Jaguars come out in a 4-3. With the throw, and the catch is made. So they get two first downs on their last two plays. And they're getting it done by seeing the whole field and taking what the defense gives them. Ball on the 27-yard line. Ball on the 27-yard line. The lineup of six defensive backs. He'll pass on first down. Throwing. And it's caught. Stevens is there on the stop at the 23-yard line. Johnson makes the catch but doesn't get very far. And that's what the mark of a solid defense is. They close in on you in a hurry, and they don't miss tackle. Second and seven. Ball on the 23-yard line. Yeah, you see me. The Jaguars line up in a 4-3. Tucks it away. Ingram is there for the tackle at the 14. And he was able to create a lot of space on that run, John. Well, it started with some good blocking. And when he got through there, he turned up field, and they weren't in position to tackle him. Ball on the 14-yard line. Only one man back. Number 19 goes in motion. Stiff runs the defender to the ground. Fumble. Loose ball. The Titans scoop up the fumble. That was a lucky bounce. They have seven yards to the end zone. Will, Will, Will. Say, watch that. 
Bates moves in motion. All on us, y'all. Don't stop, don't stop that motor. On the ground. Great fake. Steps up into the pocket. He got blindsided. They have a bunch of guys in this defense who can really get after their quarterback. With their speed and quickness, they can get around the blockers and put a lot of pressure on the signal caller. Third down, and they have to get it to the four-yard line for the first. Play football. Play hard and fast, baby. Jacksonville lines up with seven guys in the secondary. The blitz is on. With the throw, right on target to the wide receiver. Number 19 on the reception. No game on the play. Crosby will try to put them ahead with this field goal. The veteran connecting for the field goal. Following the field goal, the score is 3 0. Titans. Tennessee is lined up for the kickoff. Harmon back to return. Sends it sailing. This one is handled by Harmon. He forced a three and out on the offense's last possession. Right. Ball on their own 20. Start the drive at the 20 yard line. First and 10. The Titans come out in a 4-3. Hand off to the tailback. Late Early is there on the stop here. at the Five 25. It's important to pound the defense with a run. Sooner or later, they're going to bend. So that's a gain of about five. Right. Ball on their own five. 25. Ball on the 25-yard line. Stay both now. Give me ball. Urban, the lone setback. Gets rid of it, and it's complete. Good throw there and a first down. That ball could have been shot out of a gun with the velocity it had on it. Ball on their own 36. The Titans line up in a 4 3. They'll pass on first down. Closing in. And this defense does what it takes to bring down the quarterback. They've got the outside rush, the inside rush, and they have all the right moves. Second and 15. Ball on the 32 yard line. One more, fellas. Out of the eye formation. To carry it. Nice play for it. Gets the pass off. Green comes up to make the play at the 34-yard line. This is where the defense needs to hold. They've done a good job to get him in this situation. And a pickup of about two. And they'll face a long third down here. Drops back with the pass. Almost intercepted. Kang was the intended receiver on that play. The intended receiver on the play. Number 19 is the deep return man. Fair catch. Fair catch made at the 27 yard line. First Ball on their own 27. Ball on the 27 yard line. The Jaguars with a four man front. Starts. Comes up to make the play. A solid running game starts with a blocking of the offensive line. But the ball carrier must have good vision so he can take advantage of the holes that they open up. 
second, second and about one. Ball on the 36 yard line. Keep the throttle down. The Jaguars line up in a 4 3. With the throw, he hits his receiver. Stevens is there on the stop. At the 42, after one quarter of play, the score is 3 0. Titans. The teams as much size and will start with the second quarter. First and 10. Ball on the 42 yard line. Here we come. The rush is on. With the pass, knocked down at the line. Smith is able to get a hand up to knock that pass off of the trajectory. I'll tell you, there are linemen in this league who are very good at doing that. Second and ten. Ball on the 42-yard line. The Jaguars come out in a 4-3. The carry it. Powell comes up to make the play at the 42. Now let's have a look at what our runners have done up to this point. Ball on their own 42. Ball on the 42-yard line. Only one man back. Drops back. Gets rid of it. And it's complete. They move the chains on the third down pass by Johnson. And that's what he does. If you need a big third down play and you need a first down, you look for this guy. First and ten. Ball on the 46-yard line. I'll come through, baby. The Jaguars with a four-man front. Hand it off. Start is there for the tackle at the 41. As a coach, you need to make sure that you establish your running game as a weapon that can hurt the other team. And he picks up about four. It's second down and five to go. the 41-yard line. Watch each other back. Get it on. The Jaguars come out in a 4-3. Trying to find some room in the middle, but there was no place to go. I'll tell you what happened. The defense was coming with a lot of guys in a run blitz, and the hole that that play was supposed to go through was filled with defenders. Third down play here. They have to get it to the 36. it off. is there for the tackle at the 32. They get it again on third down. That's the kind of thing that deflates a defense. They keep getting them in these third down situations. And they can't seem to get the offense off the field. Ninth play of this drive. Ball on the 32-yard line. The Jaguars line up in a 4-3. The counter play and is there on the stop at the 34. John, the coaches are always talking about his intensity and awareness. And those are the type of plays where you see those qualities really showing themselves. He's a cornerstone of this defense. And he always seems to be in the right position to make the play. Only one man in the backfield. Gives the ball off. Ingram is there for the tackle at the 27-yard line. He's looked good so far. I just keep giving him the ball. Third down here. They have to get it to the 22 for a first down. Ford will work out of the shotgun. Gets the pass off. Dart is there on the stop at the 22-yard line. This is good communication between the quarterback and his receiver to keep the chains moving. They know where the first down marker is, and they recognize the type of coverage the defense is playing. The ball is there, and so is the catch. With the throw, 
drops the interception. Powell had his hands on him. I think he was invisible out there. Wasn't even seen. And that's a break for the offense. And this is the 13th play of this drive. Only one man in the backfield. Ford with a man in motion. A little misdirection. Stark comes up to make the play. At the 20. Lynch battles his way forward for what appears to be a two-yard pick. And this is the 14th play of this drive. They're inside the 20. They're inside the 20 and have a three-point lead. Rowing. And he can't hang on. There's not one wide receiver who can ever play him. He's never dropped the pass. It's just part of the game. Crosby comes into the game to try the field goal. The veteran kicks it through. Following the field goal, the score is 6 0. Titans. That one is out of the end zone. Let's see if this possession is more effective after their last possession ended in a punt. It's first and ten. Perry from the shotgun. Under pressure, throwing. Incomplete. Ferguson was the one they were trying to get the ball to. Griffin with the coverage. Second and ten. Ball on the 20 yard line. Got the You turn it up. Get it Watch your eyes. Hand it off. Harris is there for the tackle at the 21. The defensive tackle surged through the line to bring the runner down. Ball on their own 21. Ball on the 21 yard line. The Jaguars line up in a five receiver set this time. A little bit long overthrowing the receiver. That might have had something to do with his follow through. If you release the pass just a little late, you're going to see underthrows or balls thrown into the ground. If you release it too early, then you'll see an overthrow like that. Unable to get anything going on that series, they'll have to punt it away here. Fair catch called for. Fair catch made at the 46 yard line. The first and ten will start the drive at the 46 yard line. First and ten. Nothing. They don't get nothing. Check it out, baby. Gives the ball off. Ingram is there for the tackle. Running the ball consistently is a first step in creating a balanced attack. Ball on the 49 yard line. Ball on the 49 yard line. Hey, watch the screen. Here we go. Yeah. Lynch, the long setback. A little misdirection. Powell is there on the stop. No gain on that play as the linebacker slipped in almost unnoticed. Yeah, he did a great job getting in there. He was looking for the run before they even snapped the ball. On third down, they have to get the ball to the 44 to convert. 
Jacksonville comes out in a 4-3. On the call. They're going to spot this one at the 42-yard line. That tackle is his fifth of the game. Good call there, John. The draw caught them off guard. And here's the thing. Running draw plays softens up the defense and slows down the pass rush. When you can run the draw for good yardage, you really open things up for the passing game. Jacksonville using three linebackers. And with a counter play. Big pop that time. Lynch has shown why he's such a threat on the ground. He gets closer to 100 yards rushing. Two minute warning coming up. Ball on the 35 yard line. We like to press the rules. Jacksonville goes with a four man front. Yeah, you see me. Let's go now. A little misdirection. Pushes off. Number 59 comes up to make the play at the 29. Broke a tackle in the backfield and got the first down. Yeah, great play by the defender getting in the backfield, but he didn't wrap him up. First Two minutes ten. left. Ball on the 29 yard line. They soft, man. Jacksonville lines up in a 4 3. The rush is on. Ooh, but a hit on the quarterback. That's the kind of thing you got to do. You got to find a way to put the pressure on and disrupt his timing in the pocket. Second and 15. Ball on the 34 yard line. So we going to take it. Seven defensive backs in on this one. Can't wrap it. Smith comes up to make the play at the 24-yard line. This guy always gives maximum effort on every play. It doesn't matter if you're asking him to run between the tackles or outside. He just takes a ball and refuses to be brought down by the tackle. They have to get it now to at least the 19-yard line. Jacksonville comes out of the quarter defense. With the throw, number 22, with the tackle at the 18-yard line. This offense having no trouble moving the ball on this drive. Yeah, and this defense is having a lot of trouble stopping them. They can't seem to key on what they're doing and put an end to this drive. First and ninth ten. play of this drive. Let's see what they can do in the red zone. Let's go, let's go. Watch your eyes. Watch your head. Last time they were down here, they settled for a field goal. And they'll spot this one at the 14-yard line. Lynch busted through for a few tough yards. Tennessee calls a timeout. They have two timeouts left. Ball on the 14-yard line. This is the 10th play of this drive. Just over a minute still to go. The Jaguars come out in a nickel package. They give it to the halfback. Stevens is there for the tackle at the 11-yard line. Jackson takes advantage of a little daylight, picks up three yards. They're 11 yards away from the end zone. Nice job so far on third down for the offense, and we'll see if that continues here. Can't get to the marker on third down, so let's see if the place kicker comes in now. Not much more than an extra point here. Crosby caps off the long drive by punching a short one through. And some people may say, oh, this is an easy field goal. Well, let me tell you, after everything we've seen, there are no easy ones. He got all of it. The defense forced a punt the last time after three plays. Right. 
First and ten. The Titans with a four-man front. Dropping back to pass on first down. Pressure coming. Gets rid of it. Pat it down at the line of scrimmage. And he's back in his zone. He's reading. He sees the quarterback the whole way. And then he gets a chance at an interception. He just didn't finish the play. Second and ten. Ball on the 20 yard line. The Titans come out of the nickel package with the throw. No completion there. He put the ball exactly where you want to put it. Receiver on the play. Third and ten. Ball on the 20 yard line. King comes in motion. It's all about teamwork. Pressure, throws it, nearly intercepted. Vilma yeah. had his hands on it. He's a pretty good cover linebacker. He can run with most guys, and he gets good position. Then he reads the pass, and he makes his move. But he'll drop a few like that one. They're going to bring in the punt team for the fifth time so far. And he chooses not to return this one. Fair catch made at the 49 yard line. The ball on their own 49. Drive at the 49 yard line. First and 10. Ford will work out of the shotgun. Driving back to pass on first down. Rowing. Ooh, nearly picked off. Johnson was his intended target. Stevens was there on the cover. Second and ten. Ball on the 49-yard line. Not today. Watch him man. Jacksonville comes out in their nickel pack. It's rid of it. Almost picked off. Two tipped passes in a row. The intended receiver on the play. Here's a look at the third down success rate of each team. Ford back in the shotgun. Dropping back. Pump faking. Rose it. This one falls incomplete. Great effort up front to put the pressure on. And you see that kind of thing out of these guys a lot. They're big and they're strong and they're fast. Opposing offensive lines sure have their hands full when they get out in this field. Sastadil will come in now to punt it away. Harmon lines up deep for the punt return. Won't take a chance trying to return this one. This is where you want to respond quickly, or this could turn into a battle for field position. Deep in their own territory. Irvin, the deep man. King goes in motion. Hand it off to the fullback. And a fumble. The Titans pick up the fumble. The veteran lineman saw the loose ball and pounced on it. Yeah, you better believe it. He's still got some big playability in that body. So they have first and ten here. They kicked the field goal the last time they were in the red zone. Gets the pass off. And that's just the kind of play they've come to expect from him. He always seems to make the big play just when they need him to. Second and ten. Ball on the 18-yard line. Watch it. Hey, watch the screen. One of us will make it And they're threatening again with the ball inside the 20. So off lob to the end zone. Picked off. It's intercepted.
First so after the interception now it's first and ten. Go make a play. The Titans come out of the 4-3. Nelson is there on the stop at the 21 yard line. That's the end of the second quarter with the score. Tennessee 9. Jacksonville 0. Jacksonville nothing. We're ready to begin the third quarter of play. Number 15 comes in to kick off. kick off to start the second half. Number 19, back to return. This one is handled by number 19. Kick Tennessee off return, already yards. leading in this number one. Sends their offensive return. unit back onto the field. First Ball on their own 22. Ball on the 22-yard line. Keep the throttle down. Jacksonville lines up in a 4-3. Throws it. Number 22 is there on the stop at the 33-yard line. That was a good adjustment by the receiver as he reads the man coverage and finds open space. The thing with these option routes is everyone has to make their read quickly and make their adjustments quickly. Running option routes and running them effectively takes a lot of repetition and practice. The Jaguars come out in the 4-3. To carry it. Shannon is there for the tackle at the 38-yard line. Lynch picks up some tough yards there. So let's take a look at how this back compares to the opposition. It's second down and five to go. On the 38-yard line. They saw man. Stay at home. Let's go now. Stay both now. Boy, the counter play. Ingram comes up to make the play at the 45. Good blocking up front and a nice gain on the counter. Yeah, and that was a perfect call in that situation. He did a nice job avoiding the first wave of defenders, then converting for the first down. First ball on their own 45. Let's do our thing. Let's do our thing. The Jaguars line up at a 4-3. And off to the tailback. Number 35 is there on the stop at midfield. Lynch is having an outstanding day with over 100 yards rushing. Ball at midfield. Ball on the 50-yard line. The Jaguars with a four-man front looking upfield. They're going to spot this one at the 49. So that tackle was his third. Third down to convert. They have to get it to the 45-yard line. The Jaguars come out of the 4-3. He hands it off. Start holds him down at the 49-yard line. The third down run comes up short, so we should see a punt here. Harmon sets up, waiting for the punt. They'll spot this one where it went out. First and ten. Ball on the 24 yard line. Here we come. Let's go, let's go. Irvin, the deep man. I'm coming through, baby. No stop, no stop. That motor. Hand it off. Green comes up to make the play. So after that run, we can see how the two main threats on the ground have fared so far. Second and six coming up here. Not today. The Jaguars line up in a five-receiver set this time. 
with the throw. Almost intercepted. Ferguson was the intended receiver on that play. Griffin had the coverage on the play. Third and six. Ball on the 28 yard line. Here we go. It's showtime, baby. Perry spreads them out. Here we go. Solo. Throws it. Pass ball's incomplete. John, they dropped everyone back in coverage. He just couldn't get it to the open man. We also got to give a lot of credit to the guys up front. They were outnumbered on the line, and they still put on a good pass rush, forcing him to throw before he wanted to. They can't keep the drive alive, and they're really struggling offensively. Here in the third, they've yet to cross midfield. He signals for a fair catch. Fair catch the ball on their own 38. Jackson using three linebackers. He's brought down behind the line for a short loss. Well, some valuable yardage on that run through the middle. He's got to look to make his move earlier. If he sees guys waiting there in the middle, he's got to look for the cutback lane. He'll bounce it out, looking for a little more room to the outside. It's second down and a long way to go. The Jaguars with a four-man front. The rush is on. Gets rid of it. This one falls incomplete. A little bit long, overthrowing the receivers. He looks a little jumpy back there. One thing you never want to do is look at the rush. You want to keep your eyes downfield. If you start looking at the rush, then you can never be effective. These third downs haven't been much of an obstacle, and it's helped them take the lead. Dropping back. Wraps him up and brings him down. Great effort that time, John. He's clearly one of the best in the league. Yeah, he's one of those guys who's been playing for a while now. And let me tell you, he might never be better than he is right now. Offense couldn't get it done in the lineup to punt. He's waving for the fair catch. Fair catch made at the 26 yard line. Ball on their own 26. Start the drive at the 26 yard line. First and 10. They're having no success running on first down. Which is one reason why they find themselves on the short end of the stick right now. It's hard to have consistent success without balance. And so a risky call to send the corner backfires and they give up a first down. Some quarterbacks love blitzing corner because they know that there's one less cover man out there. And they have a lot better shot at hitting Ball someone in stride. Let's go. Hey, let's go one let's go, let's go. They're having no success running on first down. Stuff like a turkey. I mean, less than two Early yards isn't very line. good. The best Game backs in the four, league average four to five line. yards a carry. But there are a lot of things that go into a successful running game. you got to have good play calling, good blocking up front, and a back that can take advantage when he sees the open. Gain of four. Ball on the 45-yard line. Let's turn it up, D. Only one man in the backfield. Watch the ball. No, one, one, one. To carry it. Hurdles the defender. Bill comes up to make the play. Irvin manages a yard or two on the delay play. Ball on their own 46. Ball on the 46 yard line. The Jaguars line up in a five receiver set this time. Rowing. And this pass is complete. Nelson is there on the stop at the 45 yard line. Johnny has such a quick release, and the ball is out before anybody knows what's happening. And that makes it hard for him to be sacked, and it gives the defenders less time to react. First and 10. Ball on the 45 yard line. One more, fella. Let's go now. The Titans with a four man front. 
feet. Vilma comes up to make the play at the 44. This team's always trying to get a good mix of run and pass plays. One yard gain on that play. Second and nine. Ball on the 44 yard line. Here go, baby. Back it up, baby. Throwing the 30. He hits his receiver. Hayden is there on the stop. A powerful arm brings them a first down this time. Yeah, and you talk about putting some heat on your throws. This guy really let it go. First so they have first and 10 here. Ball on the 28 yard line. Let's do our thing. Let's do our thing. Down. Perry with a man in motion. Do do Hand it off to the back. Jefferson comes up to make the play. At the 24, Irvin rumbles forward for a gain of four. And this is the eighth play of this drive. The Titans come out in a nickel package. Gets the pass off, and the catch is made. Wright makes the catch, goes for about three yards. That'll bring up third down. To get the first down, they have to reach the 18-yard line. They've driven it into the red zone and need to come up with some type of score here. Jacksonville fails once again to get the first down on that seven times. Yeah, and that's huge for the defense to keep stepping up on third down like that. They're a solid group of guys who make key stops. A field goal here brings them within a touchdown. Through the uprights and good. Not every drive is going to get you a touchdown. So getting three was big. Now they got to go over what worked and what didn't. So the next drive, we'll get them a TD. Number 15 will be kicking off. Number 19. From the two. They forced a three and out on the last series. The Titans will start the drive at the 18 yard line. First and 10. Only one man in the backfield. A little misdirection. Starch is there on the stop at the 27. The coordinator talked about running the ball right out the defense today. That's a book on these guys. Be physical and run it right at them. Ball on their own 27. Ball on the 27 yard line. I'll come through, baby. The Jaguars line up in a 4 3. With a counterplay. Big tackle. He puts everything into that step. And now our viewers can see how successful each team's main running threat has been today. Third and maybe one. Let's run, man. Be strong up front. Lynch, the lone back. He gets the carry. Ingram tackles him, and they won't get the first. No game they can't the get play. the first down on that running play, and since they're not in field goal range, we should see the punt unit. So as we get set for the punt, let's take a look at our returners' stats. Harmon back to return. And he signals for the fair catch. Fair catch made at the 26 yard line. The ball on their own 26. At the 26 yard line. First and 10. 
The Titans with a four-man front. They give it to the halfback. Sugg is there on the stop at the 33-yard line. An exciting game so far as we head to the fourth quarter with the score. The Titans ahead of the Jaguars, 9-3. The teams are set for the fourth quarter of play. Ball on their own 33. Ball on the 33-yard line. Yeah, you see Harry goes to work with an empty backfield. Throwing. It's broken up. The defense forced the issue that time, John. And the guys up front got good pressure. Forcing him to get rid of that one before he wanted to. Third and three. Ball on the 33 yard line. All on us, y'all. Let's go, man. The Titans line up in a 4 3. Here we go. They're coming with the blitz. Gets the pass off. The pass ball's incomplete. When you talk about ball control and time of possession, that's not what you want to see. Number 19. Looks like he's ready for the return. From the 33-yard line, can't bring it. Yards. So they have first and ten here. On the 38-yard line, they line up in the I formation. Stevens is there on the Clinton stop. On the period. I'm impressed with their running it. The it's a big part of their offense. And they've done a great job taking advantage of blocking up front. Second, Second and four, four coming up here. On the 44 yard line. Will, will, will. Hey, let's go. Jacksonville comes out in a dime package. We like a they give it to the halfback. Hampton comes up to make the play at the 49-yard line. So he gets about five yards and the first. Nothing fancy either. He just goes right at the defense to move those chains. Ball at about midfield. With the carry. He'll bring him down at the 46. He makes his fifth stop of the game on that play. The offensive line loves to run block, playing physically against the defensive line. They've done a heck of a job of it out there today. Ball on the 46-yard line. Ball on the 46-yard line. Yes, Ford from the shotgun. Hand off for the tailback. Ingram is there for the tackle at the 43. Lynch manages a yard or two on the delay play. Third down, and to convert, they have to get it to the 39 on this play. Jacksonville comes out in a 4-3. Steps up into the pocket, throws it. Drops the interception. They were in his own defense in perfect position to make the play. They let him get away. Sastadil is ready to pump this one away. Harmon is back to receive this kick. Won't take a chance trying to return this one. This is one of those spots where they have to put something together because they're just running out of time. Inside their own 20. Ball on a seven yard line. We gotta believe it. It's day. The Titans come out in a 4 3. Green comes up to make Irvin the play the at the 12 yard game line. Irvin rumbles forward for a gain of four.
Ball on their own 12. Looking upfield. Number third is there for the tackle. Hey, if you can keep running the ball in the fourth quarter as you're playing catch-up, that's an advantage that you have over the defense because it keeps them off balance. is there on the stop at the 16-yard line. Well, you know what they say, the quickest way to the end zone is straight ahead. Going to the outside isn't always the best way to pick up yardage. Running the ball right at the defense can be very effective strategy. Ball on their own 16. Irvin, the lone back, hands it off to the back. Jonathan Vilma found the ball carrier to make his fourth stop of the game. And he picks up about four. Here is a third and long situation. The offense has had trouble moving the sticks on third down so far. Interception. He just seemed to lock on to one receiver that time. So here's how each team has done protecting the ball or lack thereof, perhaps. After the interception, they'll set up shot at the 46. Keep the throttle down. Let's go, The Jaguars come out in the 4 3. They give it to the halfback. Shannon is there on the stop at the 42. He's one of those guys who can put up 100 yards week in and week out. This has been just another day at the office for him. Second and six. Ball on the 42-yard line. Jacksonville comes out in a 4-3. On the call, strong. Hampton comes up to make the play at the 39-yard line. Lynch takes advantage of a little daylight, picks up three yards. Third down play here. They have to get it to the 36. Jacksonville lines up in a 4-3. Number 35. And they won't get the first. Tennessee has been stopped on third down for the 10th time in the game. It's hard for the offensive coordinator to get his head around that stop. Crosby needs to hit this one perfectly to have a chance. Great kick. Crosby makes this a two-possession game in the final quarter by booting that long one through. This one is handled by Harmon. Time's running out, so they're going to have to score quickly. And hope that the defense holds them so they have a chance to pull one out at the end. The Jaguars will start the drive at the 20-yard line. First and 10. Get it up! Throwing. Nearly intercepted. Ferguson was the one they were trying to get the ball to. Number third with the coverage. Second and ten. Ball on the 20 yard line. Here we go, baby. Let's run, man. Only one man back. Keep moving. Clear. Clear. The rush is on. Closing in. Ooh, what a hit on the quarterback. Julius Peppers now has two sacks in the game. After the 
the sack, they'll be looking at third and long here. This team has to start converting on third down if they're going to be successful. You know, when it's third and so many yards, why the heck would you run a pass pattern that was short of the first? Makes no sense to me. Wiley comes into the game for the punt. Number 19 will go back to accept this punt. Ball on their own force. The backs are lined up in an eye. Gets the call. Ingram is there for the tackle at the 46. Lynch kept his legs moving, gets seven hard earned yards. Almost at the two minute mark now on the 46 yard line. Under 10, 10. Let's go. Jacksonville lines up in a 4 3. Pull back handoff. Number 59 is there on the stop at the 49. So a pickup of maybe three. Two minute warning coming up. On the 49 yard line. The Jaguars come out in a 4-3. And we've reached the two-minute mark. On the 49-yard line. Go, go. Hey, watch the screen. The Jaguars line up in a 4-3. Tucks it away. Powell tackles him, but not before the first down is reached. Jacksonville calls a timeout. They have two timeouts remaining. First and ten. Ball on the 48 yard line. The Jaguars come out of a nickel factor. Fodden is there for the tackle at midfield. Very little blocking to work with on that play. Yeah, that's just great play from the defense. They play with great leverage up front and always seem to get penetration. When you have defenders in the backfield, it makes it very difficult to run or pass. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Jacksonville comes out in a 4-3. It off. Powell is there on the stop. They don't deviate at all from the last play call as they keep it on the ground. To convert on the third down, they have to reach the 38. Jacksonville lines up in a 4 3. Hand it off to the back. Number 22 is there for the tackle at the 31-yard line. Another third down conversion. I'll tell you, this time they went to the ground, but it doesn't seem to matter what they're calling out there. When it gets to third down, it's about to be first down. First and 10. Ball on the 31-yard line. What screen? The Jaguars come out in a 4-3. Hey, watch that screen. We like the of Looking upfield. Is there on the stop at the 30. Two yard gain. Ball on the 30 yard line. Ball on the 30 yard line. You gotta have it, dude. Come on. You can't stop me. With the carry. Hampton is there for the tackle at the 28 yard line and a pickup of about two. A kneel down here should be the last play of the game. We're talking about Watch out. 
Watch your man. Let's go. Don't stop. Don't stop that motor. Let's go. Come on. All on us, y'all. Nothing. They don't get nothing. He'll take him in. On the ground. On the ground. Set his last field goal attempt, which was a 50-yarder, sailing through the uprights. The kick sails through the uprights. He's one of those guys who really works hard at what he does. And you can see that hard work paying off when you make a kick like this one. He got all of it. This is where all your guys on offense have to step up and make plays. Time's running out, and they're facing a pretty large deficit. So this is where you're going to have to try and execute and come up with a little luck, maybe. First ball on their own 20. Ball on the 20-yard line. All day, baby. Come on. Play it. Play it. Be careful. Going to the air on first down. They reached him just as he was throwing. Taking shots like that will really affect his rhythm with his receivers. Second and ten. Ball on the 20-yard line. They saw man. At the spread. The Jaguars line up in a five-receiver set this time. With the pass. Ooh, nearly picked off. Sometimes in zone coverage, a quarterback will throw to a spot where his receiver is supposed to be. That time, the only one there was a defender who couldn't make the catch. Third and ten. Ball on the 20-yard line. I think this defense looks forward to these third-down situations because they've been stopping them today. It's broken up. So this could be the last play of the game. King moves in motion. The blitz is on. With the throw, this one falls incomplete. Not a lot of points, but not close either. Two touchdowns separating the two teams. For EA Sports, this is Al Michaels and John Madden wishing you a very pleasant good evening.